Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Shape It Up live show. Today, we are talking about how to eat healthy when everyone around you isn't. I um, had a very busy weekend last weekend. We did Goliathon, which is an obstacle course race out here in South Jersey. Um, it's a charity event. It's a ton of fun, and it was my 11th one that I've done, um, and the first one that I came back with some uh, bloodshed, <laughs> but uh, it was a lot of fun, so if you are in the area, check out goliathon.com. I am not affiliated with them. I just think uh, I love what they do. They have a um, great charity event every two, two times each year. Uh, it is a lot of fun. It's not like, no offense to the Spartan people out there, but um, it's a little low key. It's more family friendly. There are options and no burpees. So check out goliathon.com. And if you want to be on my team, go ahead and sign up under Shape It Up uh, on the Goliathon page. So that was my weekend. We did Goliathon and I had two parties and two soccer games um, my son's birthday is today. He is 14, and I'm having a hard time wrapping my head around that because he's going off to high school. But um, so that is what is going on today. So I want to wish him a happy birthday. And even though he's not watching, because he should be in school. If he's not in school, he's going to be in trouble. <laughs> All right. So today we are talking about how to eat healthy when everyone around you isn't. Um, so your family has asked you to go out to dinner and your first thoughts are, oh no, I cannot go out to eat. There are so many temptations and I just don't think I can stick to my diet and I just started. This is way too common for women who are trying to lose weight. And of course, if we lock ourselves in our house and we get rid of all the foods that are um, we're craving or trigger foods and you know we don't work and we don't do anything, of course you can get to your goals because we've walled ourselves into this little bubble. Um, and you know, if we venture outside, it's like you, you have no control. So in today's video, I'm gonna teach you seven strategies that you can use on how to eat healthy when everyone around you isn't. Welcome to the Shape It Up Live show. If we have never met, my name is Nicole Simonin. I am the owner of Shape It Up and I have um, also a personal trainer and a physical therapist assistant. I do not work as a physical therapist assistant anymore, but um, I have that background and I was also a former professional ballet dancer many moons ago. Uh, over the past 13 years, I've been helping women not only lose the inches, but I also give my clients tools that they can use to keep the weight off permanently. And you can learn more about how Shake it, Shape It Up can help you if you go to shapeitupfitness.com. All right, so if you find yourself venturing outside and you're really on a mission to finally lose the inches and really get healthy, a restaurant or a party is the last thing that you wanna do. Am I right? Give me a thumbs up for that. <laughs> there are so many temptations. Uh, There's so many pressures. Other people are eating whatever they want to eat. Friends are going to ask you why or why you aren't eating or drinking certain foods. And if you have been on the diet roller coaster, the last thing you want to do is tell them that you are trying this diet thing again. So how do we eat healthy when everyone around us isn't? First strategy, you need to ditch the diet mentality. You have to ditch it the all or nothing mentality and I'd really love for diet just to get out of our vocabulary. The original definition of diet from the Merriam-Webster dictionary, and this is the original definition, was, and I quote, food and drink regularly provided or consumed. So it didn't matter what you were eating, that was considered your diet, which to me is very healthy. Now, unfortunately, the word diet has been turned into this definition, which is also in the Merriam-Webster dictionary. It's just down a couple. It says, a regimen of eating and drinking sparingly so as to reduce one's weight. 
When you hear the word diet, most would agree that the thoughts that come into your head are deprivation, sacrifice, willpower, never being able to eat what you want. Your favorite foods are off the list forever. Sounds exciting, right? Who wants to go on a diet? No one. So you really need to ditch the dieter's mentality. Number two is you need to set yourself up for success. Yes, you are going to have to make some changes because what you are doing now has given you the results of where you currently are. So you obviously need to make some changes. There are some people that can make huge changes right away and stick with it, but there are very, very few people. A lot of people need to make changes that are smaller. Um, but you can decide on what you are willing to do, what you are willing to compromise on, and what you're willing to do with or without. Remember, this is your journey. You can take as long as you like to complete it. Um, so when you're setting up what you will or will not eat, you really need to be honest about what you can realistically do. So if you decide that you're only going to have dessert because you've decided, you know, dessert is not something it's um, inhibiting you getting to your weight loss goal. If you decide that you're only going to have dessert one time each week and that feels like something that you can do, like it might be a slight stretch, but it's still kind of comfortable, then start with that. Uh, if you go out to eat and you tell yourself you're only going to have a salad, but what you really want is a bacon cheeseburger with french fries and dessert, you're going to have some serious thoughts of deprivation going on. And when you're eating that salad, you're going to be dreaming of that bacon cheeseburger and fries and dessert. And it's really going to be challenging, especially if someone else is eating that burger that you wanted to order. So really make your goals. You can have your big goal, but make your small goals really achievable. Number three, you want to order what you really want. This can be really hard, especially if you're in the dieter's mentality. You can lose weight and still eat your favorite foods. It's just probably not going to be the same portion size that you're used to. Um, if you want to have a bacon cheeseburger, you have options. Um, I love bacon cheeseburgers, and I love milkshakes, um, though not so much anymore because I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> but I still love milkshakes, and I love dessert. So if that's what I decide that I want, I can do one of two things. I can order the burger and maybe skip the bun, or I can eat half of the burger and save the rest, take it home, and have it for lunch the next day. Um, so there's all different kinds of things that you can do to have that burger. Share it with somebody if you're eating with um, you know, a friend. Cut it in half and split it. Number four is you want to negotiate with yourself. So this is another thing that I do all the time. Um, if I know there is a delicious dessert that I'm eyeballing, then I will have like a healthy entree, like grilled chicken and broccoli and maybe a side of yams or whatever the restaurant has as healthy as possible. And then I'll have the dessert. Um, so it really doesn't need to be all or nothing. You got to make some compromise with yourself. I do suggest that when you are making compromises that you make them ahead of time. Don't make them when you're sitting in the restaurant and you're smelling all those smells and you're with family and friends and um, there's a lot of more distractions. Really make up your mind ahead of time to decide on what you are willing to negotiate with. Um, number five is, um, and this one, I learned it later on in life and um, I really thought it was very helpful. So like your goals need to be way bigger than the desire for whatever certain food that you are craving or looking at. So to really win the fat loss game, it's really about delayed gratification and choosing to eat healthy, um, you know, whether choosing to eat healthy over that instant gratification, which is like dessert or bread or whatever your thing is that you want or you're craving, um, is just going to keep you on the same path that you're on now. 
try to get to the mentality where you can have that food anytime you want. We live in an age where if we wanted something from halfway across the world, we could order it online and have it in like two days. So there is nothing in this world, I'm sure there's a few things, but there's nothing in this world that we don't have access to that we can't order. So part of the dieter's mentality is, is that you are deprived, like you, you can't eat this, or this is the last time you're ever going to eat it. Um, and just be aware that you can have it anytime you want. You can choose to have the food that you want. But so you really need to have your goals need to be big enough to override that instant gratification so you can get to your ultimate goal. Number six, this is a big one. So if you have been following me at all, we've been talking about um, your primal brain versus your uh, sophisticated brain. And it comes down to your thoughts about what you're thinking about when you're sitting in that restaurant and you're watching other people eat those foods. And again, going back to the dieters mentality, so it kind of, kind of all circles in together. Um, so thoughts like deprivation and sacrifice, um, it really sounds very simplistic, but it really is about what you're thinking about and how you're thinking about that food that you want to eat. There's a great quote by Henry Ford, and you probably heard it. It says, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you are right. So what are your thoughts about your weight loss plan? Do you think it's hard? Do you think it's challenging? Do you think that you can't go out to eat because you can't trust yourself in a restaurant situation? Um, I would love to know your thoughts on this, so you can go ahead and put in the comment section um, if you want to answer any of those questions. I would love to hear from you. So on to number seven. Everyone has a choice to eat whatever they want. You do and the people around you do. So if you're sitting with other people and they're eating foods that are not gonna help you lose the inches or the fat or whatever, however you wanna structure it, um, to lose the weight, that is their decision that they are eating the food. They're not eating it to make you feel bad, you're feeling bad because of what you're thinking about them eating the food. So it has nothing to do with you. And if you have thoughts like, I can't eat that, I shouldn't eat that, um, that's a dieter's mentality. And it's also your primal brain having a little temper tantrum because you want to eat what you want to eat, but you're not allowing yourself because you've set up this rule, you want to lose weight, right? You want to hit your goal. And you know that by not eating that particular food, you're going to get one step closer to your goal. And your primal brain does not like that. <laughs> it likes to have a fit and say, I want instant gratification right now, right now, right now. It doesn't care about your long-term goals. Um, so giving into your primal fit is not going to get you any closer to your weight loss goals. So keep that in mind. It is just, it's a normal reaction of your brain. There is nothing wrong with you. We all have it. We all experience it, unfortunately. <laughs> it serves us a purpose to keep us safe, but when we're dreaming big and want bigger goals, your primal brain is not your friend per se. It's the negative Nelly inside your head. You really want to focus on that sophisticated brain because that is the brain that makes kind of more rational decisions um, and helps you get closer to your goals. All right, so that is all on the topic. Does anybody have any questions? I see a couple people jumped on. Hi, Kim, and hi, Jamie. Um, Jamie is here. Hi, Jamie. <laughs> How's your finger, Jamie? <laughs> um, all right, so I don't see any questions coming in. I'm going to give it another second or two. And uh, if there are no questions, we'll wrap it up. Um, so next Wednesday, you can join me for the Shape It Up live show. It is every Wednesdays at noon on Eastern Time. And to next week, we're going to be talking about um, dealing with fatigue while losing weight. Kim says hi. Hi, Kim. <laughs> um, all right, so I don't see any questions coming in. And so we're going to wrap it up. All right, so thank you so much for being here. And if you want to dive into more Shape It Up content, you can head over to shapeitupfitness.com. And remember to get fit.
be fierce and have no limits. And hopefully I will see you next Wednesday at noon when we're going to be talking about dealing with fatigue while losing weight. All right. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next week. Take care.